what's up guys <clears throat> okay so on today's hunt we're going to be hiking up the mountain to a tunnel which I discovered a few weeks ago and we think that nobody's been inside it so this should be quite exciting um, it's quite a small tunnel from the entrance but it could branch out into something quite big so we really don't know uh, we have the Garrett A350 and the Equinox 600 with us today and I'm going to try using the scuba detector on land today, see what the pinpointing qualities are like on land. Um, so catch me later and let's see what we've found and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Catch you later. Oh, many, many steps, many, many steps. <sighs> Steps. This is killing me. Yeah. So there's more foxholes here. Big one here. More here. Another one there. Over here, all foxholes going, many of them all going up the hill. Just quickly, show you one. about metal detectors in Hong Kong not filling the holes back in <laughs> I think he's what he's seeing is wild boar digs I mean let's yeah. face it the holes we dig aren't exactly very big yeah exactly Oh, nice. 303. Still with the cordite inside. Very nice. Just a piece of point. Yeah, we should always can I show a close up of that. Yeah. It's a part of a 303 uh, cartridge. All the reeds sticking out the top, what you see like toothpicks, they're actually cordite which is the explosive inside. Wow. But this one's been damaged long, long time ago. Yeah. But it was effectively unfired. Yes. Okay, so I'm about to check out the tunnel that I found a few weeks back. Um, it looks small from the front entrance, but when you go and stick your head down inside the hole, you can see it goes quite far back. This is a Japanese building block and there's another one that's tucked into the ground. Can you just see there? Now, we put this here as a marker but this has been here for a very long time so this makes me believe that this was a tunnel entrance here and this maybe just got covered up and somehow through whether this has fallen in and inside there there's a tunnel system. So we're going to try and undig this and uh, see if we can get inside. It may take a long time though. It's quite a quite a bit uh, covered up. But, uh... It's.
definite tunnel. down it. Definite tunnel. I mean, really big one. That goes down far. Yeah. I'm not being funny, but I'm not sure I'm trying to pull down it now. Because that is absolutely is definitely a tunnel. Do you want to dig part of it out first so you can no, make I sure just... you get back out? Or not? Very slippery today, it's been raining. So, we checked out the tunnel, looked inside, it's definitely a tunnel, but I'm going to come back when it's a bit drier, and then we're going to dig it out, and do it properly, because it's too narrow, and it's falling in a bit, so be a better solution so this looks like the exit or entrance to a tunnel that's filled in caved in and we expect that the one that I found may be connected to this so it might be worth digging this out see if we can find that entrance Another bullet found, British bullet. This is live because it's still got the cordite inside. Little rods of explosives. That's very really cool. This is the tip of the unfired bullet. Loads of foxholes. Oh my god, they're everywhere. There's one here, big one over there. So that's a foxhole. That's a foxhole. Wow, there's so many. Sorry? There's so many. There must have been so many troops around here. Yeah, I think it is. 
So this looks like a bit of a British grenade. I think they're called pineapple grenades. But you can just, it's made of metal. Turn it off. So you can just see there, there's like a little recess depression kind of thing there. And that's probably the top or the bottom. I'm not sure, but I suspect that's a small piece of the outside of a grenade that's blown off. Could be wrong. Interesting all the same. Well, it looks like I might have a good signal, good target here. Let's dig it out. Looks like a piece of webbing or a watch or something, I'm not sure. It's very thin. Like a bit of a watch strap. Yeah. 